How many of you know someone with asthma? And how many of you are concerned about air pollution? How do you deal with volcanic air pollution? Stay tuned and I'm going to tell you 4 tips on how to manage volcanic air pollution. Last night, I just talked to someone who was having a bit of an asthma problem because she lived in an area affected by VOG. What is VOG? Well, VOG is the air pollution produced by a volcano. It is different from smog which is usually produced by cars. Right now, one of the world's cutest volcanoes is acting up and is producing VOG south of Manila, Philippines. So. As a bit of trivia, did you know that the Al Volcano was once touted as the world's smallest volcano? Yes, in the 1980s, no, the Al Volcano was in the world's Guinness Book of World Records as the smallest volcano in the world. But this title was removed from the Al when they discovered that the Al was actually built up of a complex of volcanoes. Yes, complex, and it was awarded to Quaxumate, Mexico. The, the crazy thing about this is that Quaxumate, Mexico happens to be a geyser and it's not a volcano. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, we might get ahead of ourselves. Let's go back to our topic. So, VOG, VOG is the air pollution produced by volcanic eruptions. Yes, or volcanic activity. Anyway, the Al Volcano is an active volcano and it has a large complex volcano system. Its most popular crater is actually inside a lake, which is also inside another crater of the volcano. It's really quite complex. It's almost as complex as some people's relationships. <laughs> well, sometime last year, the Al Volcano erupted, causing a lot of people to move out of nearby areas and stopping air traffic to Manila for a while. And just last week, the Al Volcano has started putting out smoke once more, forming what we call VOG, which is a type of air pollution created by volcanic activity. VOG contains chemicals that damage the environment and the health of plants, humans, and other animals. The summer of 2008, in Hawaii, it was noted that the county of Hawaii received a disaster designation due to the agricultural damage brought about by VOG. In humans, most of the aerosols are acidic and they are small enough to remain in the lungs which can damage the lungs and impair your functions. Symptoms such as headache, watery eyes, sore throat, and breathing difficulties, flu-like symptoms, and general lethargy are commonly reported. People living with asthma are part of these sensitive populations and are prone to be affected. In 2006, the Geological Society of America had published a report that showed that people living in communities with high exposure levels to VOG are three times more likely to get asthma attacks. These effects are especially pronounced in children with asthma. The long-term effects of VOG are unknown, partly because this type of pollutant is difficult to study. First of all, if you already have an asthma action plan, be sure to do this, uh, to use this action plan and to use the medicines as prescribed by your doctor. Beyond medicines, you can deal with the VOG in these ways. First, you can reduce your exposure to toxic VOG. Did you know that indoors, you are five times more likely to inhale air pollution than you are outdoor? This is because the pollution stays inside your room. It just gets stuck there. There's no way for it to go out. Particles from cleaning chemicals, dust, and even dead insects will continuously recirculate as these don't have a place to exit indoors. Add to this is the VOG which gets into your homes even if you close your windows. And you will have a formula for an asthma trigger. To remove these allergens, use a high quality air purifier. The, most, uh, the best rated one in the market today is called Dr. Air, whose technology has surpassed the previous industry standard 
high efficiency particular air filter commonly found in other systems. Number two, you can reduce exposure to non vog asthma triggers. Let's face it, vog or volcanic air pollution is not your body's only enemy. You are faced with so many stuff. So even though I keep talking about vog, vog is not the only threat to your health. You have other strong scents from cleaning products, insecticides, and even personal health products which can partially or completely throw your respiratory system off. You can minimize the use of these chemicals by using natural products and avoiding products that you can don't necessarily need to use. <clears throat> Number three, you can strengthen your immune system to fight off under infections. Asthma can be made worse and triggered by infections such as sore throat, pneumonia, and viral infections. Strengthen your immune system by taking in natural food products and improve your immunity with powerful nutrients. Choose natural food products such as those made by Jack's Fruits and take in nutrient supplementation based on your needs. Let me know if you had help in choosing these nutrients. Number four, maximize the natural filters that your body has. Did you know that your body has its own set of filters to clean the air that you breathe? These filters are found in your nose. When you open your mouth to breathe, you bypass the fil these filters to bring the toxins in the air directly into your throat and lungs. If you want to maximize your body's ability to clean, clean the air you breathe and protect you from asthma, you should keep your mouth closed in most of the things that you do. Many of us, especially those living with asthma, are not actually aware that they frequently keep breathing through their mouth during the day. Utilizing a powerful system, a powerful proven system, will help you measure and train yourself to maximize this filtering capacity in one of the best, the, in, in, this is one of the best ways to go. This is why uh, clinical studies that have studied the world-renowned Buteco method has consistently shown that it can help reduce asthma attacks while helping people reduce their dependence on their medicine. So, uh, with no more further ado, I am Dr. Charles Edward Sorrento, your pioneer in the Buteco method in the Southeast Asian region, and welcoming you, giving you a happy day, greeting you to have a nice day, and hopefully, please, Keep clear of volcanic air pollution. If you'd like to know more, please tip, uh, put me in the comments below or write down your comments regarding this video on the comments below. I will see you soon.